All right, ladies and gents, welcome back. This is the quarterfinals. We do have, it says Platinum versus Masters, but this uh, Mork is actually an old Masters player that just came back for Legacy of the Void. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of people who aren't in the leagues that they normally are yep. yet. Because it's the beginning of the season. Because it's the beginning of the season and a brand new game. That too. So, you know, those things kind of make it a little bit, uh, a little bit difficult. Mr. Maximus Black. Yes, sir. Hit me up with the sound of those cheesy DJs that stand up in front of the crowds and act like they're doing something when in reality they just press play on their MacBook. Are you guys ready to party? Take it back. One hop now, y'all. <laughs> Put on the webcam. Two stumps. <laughs> Put on the webcam because this is what's Two really. Two stumps. <laughs> this is what's really happening. Slide to the left. This is what's really happening. Slide to the right. Crisscross. I'm not actually. <laughs> they're not doing anything. They're not actually touching the knobs. It's just like it's just a playlist. You know, you're hurting a lot of like wannabe DJs out there right now. Like, I guarantee there's someone listening to this that's a DJ yeah. that uses like that. That's not actually a DJ. Those aren't DJs. I'm sorry. No, you guys are like they make playlists. You guys are really good playlist <laughs> makers. You guys, you guys have a. You'd, you'd be dope on YouTube. Yeah, you, you're really good. But the old school DJs where they used to actually scratch. And, and, just, and crossfade and do everything proper. Yeah, that's a different. That's a different universe. Well, it's the year. It's almost 2016, and there's so many programs out there now where you literally just plug in songs, and it automatically transitions <laughs> and automatically groups up certain but songs. I, I, there's a picture online of a DJ, all right, up in front of this party or whatever that they hired him for. Okay, he's got his mixer and everything set up at the front like they all do. You know, they got all their. There are thousands of dollars in friggin' mixers and shit that they don't even use. Some of them are just daisy chained for no fucking reason. And then uh, you look at the back of his main mixer, and he where he's oh, diddling no, shit. No, no, don't tell me it's, it's not, not plugged even plugged in. in. Don't tell me it's, it's not. It's not even plugged in. <laughs> oh shit, that's that's uh, that's savage. That's that guy's not even plugging in his mixers. Please, please, come uh, on. Well, we do have what seems to be a real DJ. We got DJ Ling Boy. Over here in the top right position. Will he use Zerglings? And over here we have Mork. Like as in Mork and Mindy? As in Mork and Mindy. Perfect. Um, so this is uh, the quarterfinals. Once again, shout out to our sponsors, Loot Crate, G2A, and Yord. Yord now offering $20 off your watch, 3% for G2A, and 10% for Loot Crate. This month is Galaxy, which will have Star Wars The Force Awakens stuff. Um... Uh, what was the other ones? I'm going, I'm drawing dead here. Uh, Halo 5 and Galaxy Quest. There it is. Uh, now, I gotta say, we've, we've talked about Galaxy Quest every time, but I want to say this right now. Of all the things they could have tied up with Star Wars and it's Halo. it's Galaxy. It's Galaxy, bro. Galaxy Quest, dude, you may not believe it, but it's a cult classic. I'm telling well, you. Well, it's not that I don't believe it, but it is, but like... When and the I'm, thing is, it's not even a bad movie. It's got like a high rating on IMDb, <laughs> and it's also on Rotten Tomatoes. Like, this is a, it's a good film. It's fun. So don't be hating. I'm not hating. I'm just saying in the context of the loot crate, I'm like, what? Well, it is called Galaxy, so Galaxy Quest. There's a half million things with Galaxy in the name that they could have also used. Tim Allen's Galaxy Quest. It's right. like... I don't even think the people that are buying these loot crates probably even were alive when the movie came out. I don't know. Or I think so. I think so because a lot of people, a lot of people buy them for like their kids. A lot yeah. of people buy them for you know nephews and and a lot of people buy them for themselves. They're, I mean, no, I, I, no, I know. You know just, I think I think the target funny. I think the target demographic is right. It's I think just, it's right. It's you don't funny. probably don't have a lot of twelve or thirteen year olds buying loot crate. Probably not. Hey, guess what? What? DJ Ling Boy? Yeah. Building a whole lot of Lings right now. He is. I don't want to blow your mind, but he's living up to his name. Oh, well, he's also got a Bane Lings nest, so I don't know if he's actually going to be using many Lings. Or oh, he's close gonna, enough. Or he's just going to turn these all into Banes. Uh, chances, well, he is going to need Lings regardless to, to clean things yeah. up. Bane Lings only do the initial damage yeah. uh, to clear, clear the way. But look at this. Mork going Roaches, which is the hard counter to Bane Lings. So unless you're really, really good at diverting damage and getting things done, these Roaches are going to, you know, bend you over. And, uh, well, he's going to... I was going to say he's going to Pork you, but his name's Mork you. So I mean, that's... He's going to Mork you. What what would what would Mork be? It sounds like a fake version of pork. It really does. It sounds like um, those people that are vegetarians. I, I'm gonna go get myself some more. <laughs> <laughs> fake pork. That's what the that's what the Jews who try to try to not eat pork pork eat. 
Mork. Well, here we go. He's gonna he's gonna abandon the the uh, the banelings and rightfully so. Uh, not only would they have gotten killed at the bottom, but the roaches would kill them very quickly. Still a lot of lings left. Gonna surround the roaches, but that is a lot of roaches. That's a lot of roaches. And the roaches most certainly are gonna clean up these lings. Uh, he is bringing more, but oh, stay there! You almost killed four of the roaches for like. Well, Nothing. He would have, uh, yeah. I mean, he would have definitely at least gotten two or three. Oh, of those. now he's gonna have put up with other oh, lings. Man. This no, is, this uh, is this is not looking good here for uh, for DJ Ling Boy. No. He better start scratching up something. He new. better plug in his mixer. Is what he needs to do right now. Yeah, <laughs> he needs to plug it in. Oh well, here we go. This is. Uh, I think this is the show. He's gonna. Oh, but these banelings may. These banelings may hit, and they do. Oh, okay. There you go. Well, clean up the zerglings at uh, least. Most of them. Uh, oh, those two banelings are not gonna make it out of this. Still four really hurt roaches, but it's just not gonna be those. enough. No. It's just not gonna be enough, man. There's still a lot of roaches there. Um, although Mork is not reinforcing. There's He's no not reinforcing. Here. So, uh, so DJ is gonna survive. He's yep. gonna clean it up. Uh, it's a big map. So reinforcing on this map for a Zerg without creep. Very true. Takes some time. Very true, especially when you're reinforcing roaches and yeah. not like speedlings is one thing, but roaches, roaches a whole other thing. That's gonna take a while. Uh, so it's it's. Why is he not rebuilding units? Does I he not think he's gonna get countered? I don't know, but he is gonna get countered, and this is going to do huge damage. If he, I mean, he's blocking the ramp with queens. He saw it coming. Oh but he's gonna God. lose. He could lose a lot here. Oh, he's gonna lose a whole lot here. Um, he's got links here in the mineral line picking off drones. Let's take a look at the workers being lost. Eight of them, nine of them so far. Queens are uh, were, were nicely placed, doing some decent transfuses to keep those queens alive. Needs to get on that ramp, though. One queen goes down. Another one is hurt. Another one goes down. A third queen falls. Still Ling's there. He is going to hold, but the damage is most certain. Wow, he just leaves. I was going to say, I was going to say, in a ZDZ, you lost three of your queens, and those were the only queens you had. Wow. Well, yeah. That's game. That is game. I mean, all he had to do was keep. He, I mean, he can't. He can't keep up reinforcing no. without queens and injects. No. Wow. So it would have just been zerglings all day coming to him. Well, it looks like DJ did turn in that mixer and turned it up. These are the quickest games we have ever casted, except for the Minuteman. I mean, he still he still got the record. <laughs> yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, but that was a good back and forth game. Uh, it looked like it was really going in the favor of Mork. And then he countered and then didn't reinforce and then didn't build anything back at base. He got a bailing's nest. He got a couple of queens to put on a ramp. And I don't know if he was droning up or what, but he literally used zero larva to uh, to, to have an army. I mean, when your army gets wiped like that and you and he yeah. physically saw at least 20 lings remaining, what do you think is going to happen when uh, a player holds a, a, a big aggressive attack like that oh, and still has strange. so much left, he's gonna counter you. Very strange. He didn't I, do anything. I, as soon as you, as, as soon as he saw that he uh, he wasn't, I mean, he wasn't about to run those roaches away. So as soon as he saw that, that was happening, that gave him a window while his roaches were still alive yep. to plant his spine crawlers. And then by the time anything, if it even happened, like putting down two spine crawlers at that point in the game is not going to hurt your economy. No. You can get away with it. Absolutely. And what it does is it stops that attack from completely massacring you. Yep. Which is what we saw. There was no reinforcement, no any... There was it's either, it's no either that D. or he was not transfusing, or not sorry, transfusing, uh, larva injecting during that attack. And he yeah. had no larva. I, I mean, I'd have to go back and watch to see if that was the case, but I don't think that was the case because he built... A bunch of units. I think yeah. he was so fixated on getting that Banelings nest out, getting his drone count up, um, and maybe he just didn't think his, his opponent was going to uh, was was going to go ahead and and, and counterattack. And his opponent had a third as well, and he didn't even have a third. Yeah. So I mean, there. <laughs> okay. Well, game one. Good good news. We're gonna see a second game. It's best two out of three. It happened. So so we've got another game coming up, yep. and uh, I'm I'm gonna guarantee that they're gonna play a lot differently. On this next one, after how that one went. We will be back right after this, guys. Make sure to check out the sponsors and the giveaways. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's giveaway links in the video description. Uh, and don't forget to use those promo codes if you decide to, uh, to pull the trigger on one of the products. We'll see you guys uh, on the next one. Peace!